Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. A Class B state softball championship is set. But coming into today, the big question was, would defending champion Northwest be in it? The Vikings winning three straight to stay alive in the elimination bracket needed one more win. Today, a rematch of last year's championship facing Elkhorn North. Viking fans bundled up for the high 40s. Low temps, but a lot of runs in this one. Bottom second, one nothing Northwest. Becca Dinkelman sends it out to right. This is what we call an oppo taco. Two run home run for the freshman. Three nothing Vikes through two innings of play. Next half inning, Mia Turner up with the bases loaded for the Wolves. And here's a news flash before you see it. There was plenty of offense for both teams. Case in point here. Go ahead, Grand Slam from the freshman. Start the chance. Yeah, that's right. Wolves take a 4-3 lead. Not bowing out of this one just yet. Next half inning now a 6-6 game. Lily Martinez lines to second. Catch can't be made. Dinkelman comes in to score. Martinez advances to second. On this throw, it's an RBI single for the junior outfielder. Northwest retakes the lead and would hold on to it. Ten more runs scored by the Vikings, including the game winner in the fourth. Reese Sobel says, I want to let y'all know that we back up walk off grand slam from the junior catcher two bombs from Zobel today to help mercy the wolves 17 to 7 in four innings head coach Mitch said and the bomb squad and the bomb queen excuse me Zobel sound up I tell you offensively one through nine we're hitting so well at the moment uh, it's tough and I'm, I'm excited to go at Blair and uh, ready to go just but it's been a fun state tournament so far it's amazing what these freshmen and younger classmen have done, stepping it up for the team. And for sure, by the end of the season, where we are now, it's, we came together at the perfect time. And we have a few blenders here and there, but not as many as we have. And it's just a great time to come together. Runs in every bottom half will help, but the grand salami from the junior, the reason why they're Omaha bound. Blair, next for all the marbles. Congrats and best of luck to the Vikings back in the biggest stage in Nebraska high school softball.